Hillary Clinton is feeling a burn more than ever. Now another new poll, the newest poll shows Bernie Sanders with a commanding lead in New Hampshire. Clinton at 27 points behind her key rival in that state. She's at 33 percent. He's at 60 percent. So should Democrats be canceling the coronation? Joining me now, uh, Gina Loudon is back, Mercedes Schlapp and Lee, and Lee Carter. Mercedes, I'll start with you, you first on this. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I, it's got to be desperation in, in Hillary's camp. I know they keep talking about this is not the core Democrat, Democratic, uh, Democrat demographic, if you will. It's no big deal. But it's got to be deja vu all over again. Absolutely. And for Hillary Clinton, she's sharpening her attacks against Bernie Sanders. I mean, going as far as calling him, you know, a socialist to a certain extent there. So I think that, that you're definitely trying to see a lot more of Hillary striking back talking about his positions on gun control not going far enough, talking about the fact that he wants to go to a single-payer system in health care. And again, for Sanders, he's just sticking to what he knows best, which is he's not associating himself with the Wall Street special interest groups and linking that to Hillary Clinton. And he's really focusing on his populist message, which is really working well with the younger voters. As long as the message stays on the economy and national security fades, he seems to be doing a lot better with the Democrats. With that being said, obviously this is Iowa and New Hampshire. Watch for Hillary Clinton to play strong in the South, in the Deep South. This is again a replay of 1992 when Bill Clinton sort of became that comeback kid and he started winning the South and winning the election despite the fact right. that he lost Iowa and New Hampshire. Although, I don't know, she better not crack up though. If she <laughs> loses the first two, uh, you know, uh, remember the scene and you read the book, of course, when she was in New Hampshire and she, you know, she lost it. She didn't think this up start with would knock her out you monitor enthusiasm you know mm -hmm. you do the dials you understand enthusiasm and there's no doubt that bernie sanders has, has hit a certain amount of enthusiasm particularly with millennials mm -hmm. is that enough to carry him over the finish line you think and why can't hillary spark that at all you know there's something really interesting about hillary people want to like her on the democratic side they they, they want her to be the thing that they get excited about but they just don't bernie sort of come out from nowhere again same thing happening to hillary again sparking enthusiasm people are excited they're energized Energized. Young people are talking about it. They're sharing on Facebook. They're getting out there. And one of the things that, that a lot of polls don't track is unlikely voters. Bernie is drawing unlikely voters. And so Hillary could be surprised again. I think when you're looking at her poll numbers in Iowa and you're seeing that she might be within the margin right. of error on some polls, I think she has a lot to be concerned about right now. Which is now. interesting because Donald Trump is also garnering a lot of people who typically aren't known to go out and vote. Gina. Could, could Bernie Sanders actually be doing Hillary a favor by, because now she's, if she's actually attacking him for being too far on the left, she's finally drawn some sort of a line as to how far he can pull her to the left. Maybe this helps her in a general election. See, I just think she is performing so miserably and the DNC is failing so badly with this very weak candidate that they have in Hillary Clinton and this is her second shot she's blowing it my prediction is this Charles I don't think we'll see Hillary in the southern states I believe if she implodes in these early uh, primaries I don't think we'll see her compete later on I think the DNC has got to be thinking about some sort of game changer whether it's bringing in someone else or, or propping up someone else or somehow handing the off the torch. I really don't yeah. think uh, she can go very far if she doesn't start performing and get some strength. Yeah, they probably have uh, Joe Biden's name in a box that says in case of emergency, <laughs> break glass. And in they're real close to breaking that glass. Thanks a lot, ladies. Leonardo <laughs> Thank DiCaprio.